morning guys. It's a Friday and there are 91 days to Iron Man. Sunny day, not particularly cold. It is eight above and I'm on my way for a 45 minute endurance cross country run. Head into an area that I used to cycle as a child and since then have only really walked the dogs. Hopefully we get some good views. You're actually I'm actually running on the other side of the valley that I ran on day one. I think it was in the video where the audio muted and I was pointing dramatically at the other side of the valley. So that's where I'm off to now. Uh, body's feeling lethargic, nothing more so than I was expecting. So, you know, there's no uh, niggles which are uncomfortable. I'm overwhelmed in the generosity of others certainly others within the sport over the last couple of days. Like all aspiring triathletes, you're always looking for the best advice, ways in which you can sustain a pace for longer, reduce recovery times, you know, the list goes on. But very rarely do you, or do have I, thought about kit. And kit can be expensive, and there are vast amount of options available online, from hundreds of pounds to you know tens of pounds. And with the help of others, I've saved myself a lot of money from, I guess, learning off their mistakes. The people that I found have given so much of their time without anything in return. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Now I'd like to consider myself a particularly generous person. I'm always there to help, I'm always there to support. And obviously that's unconditional. So it's really refreshing to enter a new journey within my life and have be on the receiving end of that generosity. It's really refreshing. Because I've entered some sectors or industries before, and I've said it before, where they're quite close-gated. You know, they're very secretive. But from what I've experienced over the last couple of months and more specifically over the last you know, nine, ten days is that people are coming out of the woodwork which I have no connection to whatsoever and offering up you know free kit and these are people that are you know at the high end of their game being generous with you know, kit that they, they've been given, you know, spare kit out there. They don't have to do that. To them, I'm a nobody, really. You know, I'm just another guy trying to attempt an Iron Man. So, to all of those people that have offered advice, donated some kit over the last couple of weeks. I'm really grateful. My recommendation therefore I guess to anybody watching this is that your Ironman or your triathlon journey doesn't have to be a lonely one. You know there are masses and masses of online resources, online communities, Athlete magazines, even the Ironman 
website offers an abundance of information. And although you can become wrapped up in it, and there's so much information, it, it, you know, it can become confusing. If you extract that and simplify it, and connect with the communities that are online and the Facebook pages, what I found is that because you're commu communicating with people that have gone through the same pain thresholds, the same barriers, the same questions, is that they're just so generous with their time and I think it's an amazing community. I think it's an amazing opportunity for someone, if they've been an introvert, to, to branch out and, and be part of something magnificent. And I, I truly believe that. You know, already I've met two people which I'd consider my friends just through the training. And it's it's a really warming uh, feeling. Because I work for myself, I, you know, you can become not lonely, but you, you know, you can become isolated. I guess what's, what's already happened is the connections I've met all over the place, into, on an international level, seems to have diversified my friends, and I think that's a really nice place to be in. And had I have not signed up to my first Ironman, then I would never have met those people. So, a recommendation there perhaps is been thinking about doing a triathlon or an Ironman or, or any kind of event, sign up, put it in your diary and, and, uh, and look forward to it and then work backwards and then start connecting with, with people out there who are also on that journey because I guarantee that you won't be disappointed. You know, it's an amazing thing to do. Even the attempt alone, and I've said I've said this from day one, I'm attempting an Iron Man. You know, there's a there's no guarantee that I will finish. But one thing's for sure is I'm doing the best that I can in all of the aspects. You know, the mindful well-being, the nutrition and the, the fitness or the exercise. I'm giving it my 100%. Uh, throughout, throughout this journey, so... There should be no reason, apart from my own ability, why I, I wouldn't finish, really. So I'm just heading into a place called Worthing. Now up into uh, High Southington, it's on the south coast of the UK, about 40 minutes from London. And despite the short distance, it appears that the weather has closed in slightly, so uh, we're going to see how we get up. And my training today is 45 minutes, endurance pace. I'm going to try and get the heart rates below, or keep my heart rate zone below zone 3. As I go slightly later into my training, I'm going to be working to utilising the fat stores for my main energy source but for now I'm going to be using a mix of my carbs, my carb intake and my fat stores as my fuel just to increase my aerobic ability See it here, but there's a windmill here. Okay, so that's.
that's it for me. I'll catch up with you after the run. Just finished, 45 minute run, comfortable pace. After the first couple of K, stone managed to work its way into my left shoe, which was irritating. But I'm of the attitude I'd rather stop and deal with the issue and then carry on at a comfortable pace and comfortably, as opposed to just grinning and bearing it. Uh, so, I was messing around for a couple of minutes trying to get this shoe, uh, the 
the stone out of my shoe. In the end, it was actually in my sock. Um, refueling with a banana. Felt comfortable on the run. Uh, ran past my old primary school, which was good. Brought back some good memories. And overall happy with how that went. I mean, it's a stunning day. Uh, there was some ice on the ground in some of the puddles, but nothing unbearable. So now just off home, uh, grab a shower and some some food, and then swatting up on to, on on some reading. Uh, tomorrow I've got a busy day, uh, but for the rest of the day today, generally uh, reading, a couple of kit reviews. And some rest really appreciating the rest at the moment not just because of the training but because of the commitment I've been giving to my work over the last couple of years there's been very little time for me to you know stop and pause and really grasp what you know how my body's reacting so I'm meditating quite a bit at the moment just settling into getting back to who I am and and really finding a, a, a positive thought, thought train and a direction of where I want to go so the fitness and the health and the mindful uh, focus and concentration over my general well-being is actually expanded into other aspects of my life so yeah good so that's it for me for now and I'll catch up with you in a bit so I've just gone from the run and made a salad We've got spinach, mixed leaves, cured hams and meats, and some balsamic glaze, quite a bit of olive oil, just plain uh, extra virgin olive oil, and a couple of tomatoes. So it's going to be a good mix. Serve it up. There we have it. Nice, simple, quick, easy um, bags of minerals and vitamins. So this is a book review as part of my 100 Days to Iron Man. Uh, I'll be reviewing Training Food by Rennie McGregor. As it says on the front, get the fuel you need to achieve the goals before, during and after exercise. Having read several hundred books over the last few years on, on sport and nutrition, it probably is in the top 5% of the most comprehensive and detailed books that I've read. Although not specific to Ironman, it does cover in detail the three events, or the three sections, the three disciplines. Uh, it's divided into three areas, or three main categories. The first section is more about how your body utilises uh, nutrients, carbs, carbohydrates and fats what it does and how the body breaks them down and what it utilizes them for. Then the midsection talks about different sports um, and different distances. So whether you're an ultra marathon runner or whether you're a sprinter, it talks again about the utilization of the sugars and various other aspects, which you will want to know. And then the third section is probably a good hundred recipes from mains to sweets to, to starters. Because it is so comprehensive, there's a number of times, with, or there was a number of times within the book that I had to go back through and read a section, uh, just because it is so detailed. And if you speed read like me, there are areas that you will miss. So my recommendation is to read it a couple of times, really, so that you can digest it. Out of all of the books I've read, it is, as I've said before, one of the most comprehensive. I would recommend it to people of all uh, all experiences. And it does actually say on the back here, from amateurs to Olympic uh, athletes. It does really get the brain ticking. Um, it's inspired me to go off actually and research a number of the areas mentioned within it in more detail and expand my knowledge. Uh, so it must have been a good book. So, yeah, Training Food by Rennie McGregor. It's available using the link below and certainly be one that I'll be keeping on my uh, bookshelf. 
Just about to make a smoothie, spinach, soy, and about 15, 20 bananas chopped and frozen. So that's it for me today. Tonight I'll be having chicken, sweet potatoes and celeriac chips and a side order of salad. Um, reading this at the moment, feet in the clouds. So far so good, but I'll do a book review on that later, probably next week. Uh, I've got 45 mile ride tomorrow, endurance ride tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. And apart from that, that's my, that's me from today. Uh, overall happy, nearly in the sub 90 days now. Time seems to be going really quick. Um, we start some transition work next week, or maybe I think the week after. A uh, bit of brick training, so time to ramp it up a little bit more. Overall, happy with how things have been, happy with my training program. I think I've lost about two, two kilos over the last 15 days. In, uh, I took a picture of myself yesterday without my top on and the body fat is certainly going down. Um, yeah, I think I think that's about it. Thank you to everyone for all your support. Thank you to the guys that are that have taken me under their wing and giving lots of support and advice on what I should be looking into and what I should be doing. Uh, it's very very handy to have those people on board. So I'm eternally grateful in that respect. Uh, thank you to people who are outside of my community that have found me on Facebook and other channels uh, for all your support. And yeah, you'll be seeing more of me over the next 90, 90 days. Have a good evening and catch up with you tomorrow.